everyone. I'm Maria. Welcome back to King Kong Sun Classroom. Today, we are happy to invite Miss Florence to our classroom. She has been working in marketing department of King Kong Sun for more than eight years. Miss Florence can speak both French and English. She is excellent one of our elite team. Hello, Florence. Please say hello to everybody in the classroom. Thank you, Maria. Hello, everyone. I'm Florence from King Kong Sun. Okay, Florence. Today we are going to talk about one of the most destructive lab doctoral insects on curtain. Its name is curtain bollworm. Before talking about the insects, we'd like to know more information about the important role of curtain in the agriculture and industrial economy first. Florence, could you please share some information about curtain from different markets? Okay, Ria. Curtain is the most widespread profitable non food crop in the world. It is the most important fiber source and the cash crop. Its production provides income for more than 250 million people worldwide and employs almost 7% of all labor in developing countries. Approximately half of all textiles are made of cotton. How about the production of cotton in the world? Okay, cotton planting already has 7,000 years history. Currently restricted by printing technology, climate, soil, and other conditions, cotton planting places are very concentrated in several countries. The following chart shows the cotton production of the top four cotton producers from 2010 to 2020. China and India, as the top two cotton producers, contribute approximately 45% to 50% of the global cotton production, while the top four producers comprise 70 to 75% of global cotton production. Apart from the above, other cotton producing countries including Pakistan, Uzbekistan, Turkey, Australia, Greece, Turkmenistan, Syria, Egypt, Peru, Bolivia, Sudan, Yemen, Nicaragua, Guatemala and so on. By the way, the Egyptian cotton is considered as the best cotton in the world. The sunny desert type of climate, irrigation facilities, and the fertile alluvium soil in the Nile Valley are greatly suitable for cotton production. Thanks, Florence. From your words, we can have a general understanding about production and the distribution of cotton in the world. Okay, let's turn back to our pest control topic. Florence, from the market, which kind of insect will damage the cotton plants? Okay, um, cotton crop is infested with different kinds of insects in the production cycle, such as trips, aphids, wet flies, and ballworms, which attack on cotton leaves and balls. Among the damage of these insects, cotton ballworm damage can cause up to 40 to 50 percent of cotton losses in severe incidents. It is a big problem for cotton growers. Ria, could you talk about how to control cotton ballworm? Sure. Firstly, I will give a brief introduction about cotton ballworm. Cotton ballworm belongs to the lab doctor insect. It also has four life stages, egg, flower, pupa, and adult. The larval stage is the most devastating to the production of cotton. When female mouse can lay 1,000 to 3,000 eggs during one life cycle, cotton bollworm reproduces four to eight generations per year. From the appearance, the adult mount is about 35 to 40 mm across with the yellow orange four wings that bear a single dark spot and a paler second wings with a distal strap. Cotton bollworm goes through generally six lowering stars. Young caterpillars are yellowish, white to reddish brown with dark spots. In later stars, the head is mottled, and the body is marked with three prominent longitudinal dark bands with numerous light colors wavy lines. The color of the older caterpillar is extremely variable, and may be green, straw yellow, black, pinkish, or reddish brown. Full growing larvae are 30 to 40 millimeters long. Ria, could you please describe in details how the cotton ballworm destroys the cotton? Sure, the cotton ballworm larvae chew holes into the base of balls and may hollow out lugs. 
Moist flesh usually accumulates around the base of the bowl. That we may also chew shallow gouges in the bowl surface, which can become infected with rot organisms. The bowl injured by carking bowworm usually have a round hole near the base. The larva at its death file are the most destructive. They not only damage more balls than the early stars, they also damage the larger fruits that are harder for the plants to regenerate. A single larva can damage 30 to 40 balls in its lifetime. As for our customers' feedbacks, cotton borer not only appears on cotton, but also from on other crops. Yes, the level of the cotton bollworm have a wide range of depths. It has a broad host range that includes more than 200 cans of crops, but turkey, corn, tomato, and sorghum appears to be the most preferred host plants. Cotton bollworm is also known by many other common names, like corn earworm, tomato fruit worm, and sorghum headworm, and soya bean potworm. Apart from the reasons of cotton bollworm larvae damage inside, strong reproduction ability with the overlapping generations, these pests also have a track record for developing resistance in response to insecticide selection pressure, which make it a challenge to control. If the control is not done properly, it's easy to cause the occurrence of cotton aphids and cotton spiderments. So what is your recommendation for the control of cotton bollworm? Cotton bollworm control requires scientific comprehensive control measures. Firstly, cotton bollworm is attracted to succulent overgrown cotton plants. So we can keep water, fertilizer, and plant density at recommended levels to avoid overgrowth as culture control. If infestation pressure is not very high, we still can use the light traps or thermal traps for pest monitoring. Natural enemies can help to maintain cotton bollworm populations at low levels. Bt product is also effective as biopesticides. Cultural and biological controls and Bt applications are acceptable for use on organically grown cotton. There is another choice in some countries, which is planting Bt cotton. Bt cotton contains genes for Bt that makes plants resistant to the cotton bollworm complex. This inbuilt insect resistance can lead to the savings in chemical pest control and the higher effective yields in farmers' fields. Chemical control is effective management when infestation pressure is high. It's recommended to use the proper insecticides which are comparatively safer to natural enemies at the correct dosage and alternating different groups of insecticides for each round of spring. Based on the field trial test, Chlorine Trinity Pro is highly effective on cotton bollworm larvae, even large larvae. Spinocyte and Spinotram are very effective, as well as some old insecticides like Carboreal, Mesmeal, and Malacin. According to the cotton bollworm, Kimpinson has developed an effective product, King's Trader. If you are interested, please contact us. Thank you, Ria. All right, then, this is all for today, and hope this video can help you have a new understanding of cotton bovum. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel, and if you have any more questions regarding to cotton bovum, please leave us a message down here below in the comment zone, and Kim Kun San will try to provide you with more information regarding to the pesticides industry and the pest control. Kim Kun San, focus on your harvest.